So here's one of the biggest mistakes that I see people setting up their guide camera in their guide scope. They often have them hanging way out here and they've never once reset the focus in the actual objective of their guide scope. Okay. Now every single guide scope has basically a lock ring up here and then you can screw the objective forward. Okay, right there you can see the actually the objective came off. And what I do is I basically set them out about as far as I can and then lock them down. Then I come back here and I move the camera in and out until I find focus, which usually puts the camera deeper in here which can keep this thing from flexing, okay? You don't need to buy a helical focuser for your guide scope because they have built-in focus. This one here even has a gradation ring, basically little step marks, that allow you to kind of find the exact same point of focus again. You know, this here ZWO does the same thing. The, the red ring unlocks and then you can screw the objective forward. And as you can see, I've got my guide camera mounted deeper into it, which means that there's no flexure in the guide scope.